Hey, what's going on, guys? The Horror Man back, putting a positive spin on The Rage, Carry 2. I want to start by saying this. This is easily one of the most underrated horror sequels ever. I, for the life of me, and Jason as well, cannot figure out what it is that people hate about this movie. Yeah, 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 it's a sequel to a classic. I get it, but how many sequels to other classics do we have that people enjoy? The Rage Carry 2 was released in 1999, 23 years after the original carry. Based on what I've seen online, it seems that many people bashing this one have never actually seen it. I say that because I've literally seen numerous people claim this has no connection to the original, which is absolutely false. 23 years later or not, this is literally a direct sequel to Carrie. Let me just get to my positives, because this could be one of those videos that ends up being longer than I'd like. First and foremost, the casting. Emily Burgle is absolutely phenomenal as Rachel. Rachel is the Carrie character in the sequel. She really pulls off the loner persona, but there's something so endearing about her as well. Jason and I were specifically talking about this while watching the movie. She's not the traditional attractive actress but there is something really cute about her. She doesn't look like one of the popular cheerleaders, and she's not supposed to. She's perfect in the role. She also looks like she'd be the actual daughter of the woman who plays her mother in the movie. It's really cool seeing Jason London and Zachary Ty Bryan in this. They were both really popular at the time of this film's release. Obviously, most people recognize Zachary Ty Bryan from Home Improvement. Emily Burgle, who played Rachel, by the way, played in Gilmore Girls as Francie Jarvis, so that's also a cool TV connection. Eddie K. Thomas, Finch from American Pie, has a role in this, as does Mina Savari, also from American Pie. Dylan Bruno plays a great jerk as Mark. And yet another TV connection, Rachel Blanchard, who played Cher in Clueless, the TV series, also has a role. And another big positive related to the cast for me is the return of Amy Irving, reprising her role as Sue Snell from the original Carrie. That right there is a huge connection to the first film, to those who claim this has no connection whatsoever. That's definitely not the only connection though, but I don't want to spoil the even bigger one. Let's just say Rachel herself is also connected to the first film in some way. Not to mention, there are plenty of flashbacks featuring scenes from the original Carrie. Here's an obvious positive. The Rage Carrie 2 is extremely entertaining. There are so many things that just feel real in the sequel. For example, some of the death effects, including the first death in the movie. That one looked extremely real. Also, the way the jocks and the popular kids act, and the way they bully Rachel. To me, it's not over the top. It's the unfortunate reality of a group of people like that. Jason London, who I mentioned earlier, plays Jesse, and I love the chemistry he has with Rachel. Within the high school politics and the horror, there is a genuine love story here. And speaking of those high school politics... I actually find them to be scary. One of the characters gets away with something simply because of who he is. If that doesn't mimic reality, nothing does. Because of the realism, I think The Rage Carry 2 holds up better than the original. You can watch it now, 25 years after its release, and it'll still seem current. That's definitely a positive. We get some side nudity during a significant sex scene, and side nudity is better than no nudity at all. Another positive about Emily Burgle's portrayal of Rachel is her transition. The way she gradually opens up throughout the film and smiles more, 
it makes a huge difference. It just all seems so natural. I'll say it again. She's perfect in the role. I love her connection to the first film. That's a huge positive. And I love that while the Rage Carry 2 stays true to the original, it also does its own thing. In a way, I guess you could call it a requel. I'd compare it to Halloween 2018 in that way. It's a direct sequel to the original, but it also sort of reboots the franchise. I also find a lot of similarities between The Rage Carry 2 and Pet Cemetery 2. Not just because they are both sequels to original work by Stephen King, but the way they're connected to the first film and are also something new. Instead of ending at a dance in Act 3, The Rage Carry 2 is set at a house party. I'm glad they did that. They could have easily just set it at another dance, but they went a different route. And I love the house where the party is set. The kills are amazing. They're super gory and over the top and incredibly satisfying. And then following the massacre, there is a really touching moment that sort of brings you back to the heart of the film. Seriously, this sequel has heart. It's paced really well especially for a movie with an approximate runtime of an hour and 45 minutes. It does not feel that long at all. I'm a huge football fan, and there's a football game featured in the film, so that's a positive for me. It's like a horror sequel with just a little mix of Friday Night Lights. I love the tattoo aspect of the movie, and if you've seen it, you know what I mean. I thought that was a really cool effect, and it just adds to the character in the climax. I really like the final scene as well, and there's a certain appearance of something that belonged to Rachel, but I don't want to spoil it. Normally in these positive spin videos, I'm a bit more free when it comes to spoilers, but in this case, I really want people to watch The Rage Carry 2, because I feel like a lot of people haven't. This one might be a case of a movie that is more neglected than it is hated. And I hope that's the case. Because, like I said, I just don't understand what there is to hate about this movie. I'm gonna say something pretty controversial here, but I don't care. I may actually prefer this sequel to the original. There is just something about it that almost made me feel inspired after watching it. It's a shame there are not too many others who give it the same credit. It definitely deserves more praise. I love The Rage Carry 2. Love it. But you don't have to agree. This is just my positive spin. Be sure to check out Jason's as well. To which hated movie will we next give a positive spin? Check back soon to find out. Until then, though, I'd love to know your thoughts on The Rage Carry 2. Comment below and let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that thumbs up and be kind, subscribe.